Welcome back everyone to Data Science for Everyone. Today we're going to be showing you how to set up an, a local HTTP server with Node.js. So let's get started. So in our previous uh, video, we talked about going and using uh, Python to create up an HTTP local server with the python -m -http server. Now, as we've been going and we've been having more JavaScript stuff, we've also been wanting to maybe utilize Node.js to create up our um, examples. So one thing that you can do, instead of going to Python, we can go to nodejs.org. You can install the latest version of Node. Okay, and this is gonna install Node. It's also gonna install NPM, which is gonna allow you to update and install some um, modules, okay? So I currently have Node on my computer and you can see here I have version uh, 20.11.1. Okay, that as of today, this is the newest update that's out there. And we want to go on and install in here um, a package called HTTP.server. Okay, and so what we need to do to install that is to use npm. Okay, and then we're going to have our HTTP.server. And actually, I need to. It's not actually the. Uh, uh, it's a dash. Server. And again, here we want this to be installed. Actually, we want to do so. npm install g for global and http dot dash dash server. And so again, this will go through and install. Some things and here notice it says it's rejected so i need to make sure and do this um, with uh, my password so here i would do sudo npm uh, install dash g http dash server and i'll take it a second again here um, it may it may take you guys a little bit longer because maybe there was some extra information in there um, but again this this is now installed this nice server path and we can see here that we have the same example that we had had in our previous video of using the HTTP server. And if I go and let me open this up, you see here we still have that current issue. Uh, if I'm trying to run this, it's not going to want to run. But if I go through here and I do, well, and again, we can show that I don't have a local, I don't have anything running currently on my local host either. So let's go on and do that. So we can do something like now, instead of typing in Python or anything else, we just do HTTP dash server on this current location and it is running. And so this particular one happens to be running at 8080 and I can hit here, it says hit control C uh, to uh, stop the server, but I can also hit uh, and I can, whoops, I can hit for instance, command and I can click on this and I can hit open and it will open it over here. And you can see here now we are at that local host and notice this is working perfectly. And what is fun with this is I can move this over to the side and I can actually go through and I can maybe move this over to the side and we can have some fun with this just really quickly. Let's open up our stock values in here and let's, let's actually change the value. So maybe I'll change this to 200, make sure and save it and I refresh. And notice here, now it is at, that stock price is at 200. We can maybe switch it back down to maybe 20 and we can refresh and notice it goes back down to 20. So this makes it truly nice and interactive and it's kind of free of having any issues that we may do here. Notice here, this is that core is disabled. That was that usually that issue that you're having. It has the cache and how long it's timed out. But again, this is just a nice quick way to uh, run and have up a node server uh, that is running so that you can test out your uh, D3 and JavaScript uh, server applications. If you guys like this and you want more of this content, please like, subscribe, and hit that like button, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.